Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to create polar and radar charts of Sync Fusion in a React application. I will also show you how to add a title, marker, and tooltip to these charts. If you want to know how to create a React chart, you can refer to my getting started video link in the card above or in the description below. Now I will show you how to add a polar chart to a React application. I will open my existing application, which already has the charts package installed. On the app.tsx page, I have included the basic codes to start with. Let's move on to the chart code. As you know, the chart component is segregated into feature-wise modules. To add a polar chart, I need to import the polar series module from the React Charts package and inject it into the chart services. Then, set the series type to polar and name to temperature. In the polar or radar chart, there is an option to draw the series using the draw type property. I will explain that later in this video. For now, I set the draw type as line. Since the type is specified as line, I import the line series from the Sync Fusion React chart package and inject it into the chart services. Let me now explain how to populate a polar chart with data points. I can bind an array of JSON objects or an instance of the data manager to the polar chart using the data source property. In this application, I'm going to show whether statistics data. So, I add the data.js file and define the JSON object as sample data with month and value fields. In the app.tsx page, import this sample data from the data.js file and bind it to the data source property. After binding the data, I need to set the xy axis to the series. I assign the month field from sample data to the x axis using the x name property and the value field to the y axis using the y name property. Since x axis in the JSON object contains categorized data, I need to configure the horizontal axis with category using the primary x axis property. To do so, I import the category module from the chart package and inject it into the chart services. Then assign the value type option as category in the primary x axis property. I also set the title to this chart as weather statistics. Let me run this application. Look at the output a polar chart is rendered with the provided data points and title. And notice that the labels are displayed between the ticks. I can also show the labels on the ticks using the label placement property. In primary x axis settings, I add the label placement property and set its value to on ticks. Check now, the labels are shown on the ticks. Next, I will show you how to customize the y axis values and its format. To do that, I include the primary y axis property and set the minimum temperature value at minus 20 degrees Celsius and maximum value at plus 20 degrees Celsius. Also, set the interval to 5. Then customize the y axis labels using the label format property and specify the value in Celsius. See, the polar chart displays the y axis values in Celsius and is ranged between minus 20 degrees and plus 20 degrees Celsius with an interval of 5. Let me show you how to apply a marker to the line series. Just include the marker property in the series directive tag and enable the visible option. Check now, a marker is shown at each data point. Now, I'll show you how to enable tooltips on the chart when displaying data labels takes up too much space. To add a tooltip, import the tooltip module from the chart package and inject it into the chart services. Then include the tooltip property in the chart component tag and set the enable option value to true. Check now, tooltips are shown when I hover over the data points in the polar chart. See here, the start and end data points in the line series are connected and formed as a closed path. To remove the closed path, include the isClosed property in the series directive and set its value to false. Check now, the start and end data points are not connected. Let's see how to create a radar chart. First, import the radar series module from the Sync Fusion React chart package and inject it into the chart services. Then change the series type to radar. Look, the radar chart is rendered with line series. 
Next, let's see the different draw types of polar and radar charts. Line, spline, area, stacked area, scatter, column, wind rose, and range column. Now I will show you how to draw a column series. Import the column series from the Sync Fusion React chart package and inject it into the chart services. Then change the series draw type to column and disable the marker visibility. As you can see, the radar chart is rendered with column series. To change the chart code to have a polar chart with column series, I import and inject the polar series in chart services and change the series type to polar. Check now, the polar chart is rendered with column series. Finally, I will show you how to customize the start angle and radius of a polar chart. To do that, include the start angle property in the primary x-axis property and set its value to 45. Then define the coefficient option to 75 to change the radius of the chart. See, the polar chart start angle and the radius are changed based on the provided value. Let me quickly summarize. You've learned how to create Sync Fusion Polar and Radar charts in a React application. You have also learned how to add a title, marker, tooltip to these two charts. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.